All right, Hefty here, 492W. We're going to do uh, CPD number eight. It's actually a little different here, not with the textbook, but we're going to do a prep for project five, which is your business research and analysis report. All right, key points here with CPD number eight. It's a project five training. So we're going to review uh, the rubric. Basically, what you're going to do is there's 15 different terms that are key to your business plan at the end of the course. So I want to make sure you define those, give references to those, and then we'll look at doing some um, assessment from benchmarking of different businesses. You want to include some Affordable Care Act questions there if you have the ability to email or actually contact anyone uh, about these businesses. You'll do an analysis then about how you can apply it. And then uh, the, the, resp the quiz, number eight, is a response quiz where you're just going to explain to me some of your preparation, and then you'll see we've got a business contract for the second half of the course. Um, so on the same page with expectations and assessment. Some health law ideas with this Project 5. You want to think about what are quality health law and Affordable Care Act questions you could ask if you're able to interview, whether it's by phone or email, or if you have some type of family contact connection. Maybe you're, you've done an internship and you've created a relationship. Great to ask them about their opinions and how they've used it, uh, health law in their business design. Again, again, it's not about opinions, but it's more just about what they like, pros and cons of it what's been their experience. Again, <clears throat> you want to compare and think about this to other countries' health plans, universal health care, for example. So pro Project 5 prep, again, it's a team business research and analysis report. The intro is worth 15 points there. And basically what you're going to do is uh, research a minimum of three businesses. And you'll see where you've got to basically talk about, uh, give an overview of each um, business. And we'll go into detail that with the rubric here. Then there's a review section, which is the core of the assignment, 45 points. Again, what you're going to do is there's 15 different terms. Um, some of them we've talked about, some of them we'll address here the second half of the course. But you want to go ahead and give your definition of them in your own words, and then cite a reference to support that definition. You need both to get one point for each of those. And then uh, the third part of that is you'll give a detailed example of that term from your research or observation of any of the businesses. Um, key point here, if it's not observed um, with your research, then you just have to make an assumption and you want to state that at the beginning. I was not able to observe, but based on my research, I assume da 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 da. One thing here, for each of the terms, you just simply pick one of the businesses or you can do several from your research, research that gave you the best information or opportunity to observe that. It can be something positive or even something negative from your assessment of that observation and research. And then the last part is the application. What you're going to do is 15 points. Each of the 15 terms, after you've reviewed this, done some research now, provide an illustration of how you will accomplish um, each of those 15 parts in your business design. And as always, then there's mechanics, your headers and subheadings. Again, must include the textbook, even if you don't cite it. Uh, but you need a minimum of eight different references. Should be easy if you use different uh, resources for your terms, then we should be in good shape, plus the three businesses you've got. So the rubric itself, again, 80 total points. Uh, upload to Canvas like we've always done by 8 a.m. Uh, late submissions, again, 10% each day. It's 16% of your grade, so you can see it, it's starting to ratchet up a little bit. So here is the actual rubric, the intro. You can see there's five different points there that you need to describe in detail of each of the businesses. Again, a minimum of three. And I prefer you do not use a Penn State University organization. Um, use some outside sources. Second part then, the review section, which is the 45 points, it's the core of it. There's the 15 terms on the left. You can see 
It's basically what our CPD topics are. We've covered some of them. Other ones we won't, or we haven't yet, but we will. Again, for three points for each of those terms. So let's take management and leadership style. You should easily have a definition in your own words for that already from previous assignments, uh, projects. And then you have to cite um, uh, a reference, a definition of that for each of those. Those two points there. Then the third point is where you simply talk about, let's take management and leadership. Take one of the businesses and describe what you learned in your research about their management and leadership style. Just a quick overview of that. Okay. Do that for each of the 15 points, three per, three points per, 45 total. Then you get into the application, and this is the great part of this project is, again, you start to list each of the terms and then what, how you, uh, concrete example, again, illustration using I statements or we statements, how you're going to accomplish each of them. Then last is your mechanics for the five points as we always done, 80 total points. The application here, it's real simple. This is real research. What we've been doing up to this point is just theory, a lot of reading, um, research information. But again, when you actually research real businesses and hopefully you get an opportunity to have some communications and interview style, whether it's e just email even, or some connection you've got, you'll start to see what really works and then how you can actually, in reality, apply it to your business design. Again, when it comes to benchmarking, that's what you're doing is there's three different types there. There's competitive benchmarking where you're comparing your business to your peers or your competitors. Functional benchmarking where you're comparing it to different industries, just like we did with the Economist article. We looked at leadership and education, but outside of the health industry. And then last is generic benchmarking where you look behind just the data, but you focus more on the general process, the general things you can learn from the business. And this is where if you're just having the opportunity to look at websites and things, you're going to pick up different bits just in general what you can learn. Again, always look at health law connected to your business, both for your customers and your staff. And then again, this is reality versus theory. So uh, this is how it's really going to work in the world. These are things you want to use in your business plan. So the response quiz that you've got to do after this, again, since we're not with the textbook, uh, but the, their focus here is get you prepared for project five. And again, the reason for this, it's due in three weeks as a quick turnaround. So question one, just what are the organizations or businesses that you think you're going to target for your research and analysis? Okay. Minimum of three. I would recommend you pick five here. And then that way, if you're having trouble with one or two, you still got your three and not scrapping at the end. Question two, one point real simple. Just tell me. What is your method of research? Are, do you have a connection where you're actually going to do an interview, whether it's phone or email, or is it a website research, or is it from your internship, whatever that is? Question three, then, I want you to develop a plan, a timeline for those three weeks to get everything done. Um, just lay that out real quick. It can just be a timeline, how you're going to accomplish. And question four, then, this is the contract piece. You state whether you agree to the terms of the contract. If not, why? But if you say yes, then that's considered your signature, read to the contract. We'll go over that here real quickly.